silence your cell phones now. Senior Chief Kelly is the third member to be attacked. Three perps are dead. Also killed was his wife. What's going on, YouTube? It's SCA, a place to be chill, chill, Mr. Andy. Back to give you guys another movie experience here for the new movie to hit Amazon Prime April 3rd this weekend, which is the new Michael B. Jordan movie, Tom Clancy's Without Remorse. So, I'm not big on Tom Clancy. I have a friend that's big on Tom Clancy. He play, plays the game, stuff like that. I haven't read a single Tom Clancy book from the 90s because in the 90s, I was definitely not reading books, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, I never went back and watched Tom Clancy, stuff like that. And like I said, I'm not... And especially when it comes to playing the games, I'm not in I'm not in uh, FPSs. But uh, I was like, I am in the movies, and I do love cinema, and I love Michael B. Jordan. So why don't we check out to uh, see what this movie is about? Especially with this uh, this guy who was in the army, and uh, there, there's some uh, conspiracy going on with his, his ranks. They said they, they, they so something is starting to kill his men, but then they end up killing his wife and unborn child. So it's a revenge story. He goes out to receive revenge of the person who killed his wife and his unborn child. So uh, right now, we'll get into a little bit of the good and then the bad and then the experience. Start off with the good. All right, so off the bat, when it comes to the good, I give it to Michael B. Jordan here because you know I'm a fan of Michael B. Jordan, and, and, and I, th I think in the movie he did he did pretty all right. I'm not saying it's like you know an Academy Award nomination, you know, like Just Mercy was. But I'm saying, but you know, it's, for what it was doing, like he did a good job of showing that the character's a badass. So I I enjoyed it. Like th there's a guy you don't want to fuck with this guy, especially when he has the weight of losing his wife and his unborn child his wife being played by lauren london now i mean she doesn't offer too much in there because she's not really much into in the movie like that but uh you know that, that's his wife and you know so i don't i thought it was for what it was worth it, it was fine to be honest with you but um that's where my good stops with this movie because i got nothing else really good to say about the movie so it's going to the bed all right so going into the bed about the movie this movie had you would think it would have weight to it because you kill a man's you kill a man's wife and his unborn child which you know no disrespect to lauren london or anything like that but i'm just like i felt nothing you know what I'm saying when she died other than the circumstances of you know somebody family taking away from them i felt nothing you know what I'm saying because they didn't give me a chance to even fall in love with the character in the first place and when these guys were getting uh you know, hit off. It was kind of lethal weapon too. When the guy was, he was going around killing the cops, and I was just like, "All right, there is brutal death scenes in this genre." Like when the, there's one in, in the beginning, the guy gets run over by cars. Like my God, okay, I, I I didn't see that one coming. So I, I I will I will give it that. And all the cool stuff that we see in the in the trailer, I hate to spoil this for y'all, but that's the first twenty minutes of the movie, and it gets so boring of, of, of things that I will say there's a time when they're in a the helicopter and it fills up with water I thought that was pretty dope but uh, other than that it just gets boring and it's dark it's really really dark they're doing this stuff at night this, this mission at night to go figure out who is the one who did all this kind of stuff like that and uh it's to me it's it, it starts getting boring it's to become it's generic you have seen the story before you have seen this event story before there's nothing new it's not reinventing the wheel with this at all and uh, everything kind of just fell flat me personally, I was like, you know what? This would have been interesting if this is like Killmonger's story before he becomes like full on Killmonger. Remember when they was talking about the Black Panther? He said he 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 was the greatest he was in the war, and I was just like, oh man, in Afghanistan, Iraq, all that stuff that he was in. Well, I think this is the story. Like, okay, this is before Killmonger became Killmonger because he's a badass in the movie. Michael Jones is a badass in the movie. After losing his wife and his girl, he don't want nobody else. He just want to go kill T'Challa. Everybody just hey, this is without remorse. Kill mom. You know what I'm saying? I think maybe it'll be doing better, but right now it just if it, 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 everything just fell flat to me, very uninteresting, especially after the first 20 minutes. And it, it wasn't it didn't keep me interested in there like the old guard did earlier. I uh, was it late last year or last year when it came out. But uh yeah, that's pretty much my bad for it. But now let's get into the experience. <laughs> So when it comes to the experience, I was just like, all right. I was more excited to see Without Remorse than I was 
uh, the Mitchell versus the Machines, and it turned out to be flip flop for me because I was just like that movie was awesome. I actually watched it twice. This movie was I could not wait for this thing to be over. It, it, it nothing was working for me in this movie at all, and I was just like, oh, and that's the ending. Oh, okay, we've seen this before. It's nothing new, nothing event in the world to the point I was lost half the time. I was like, did he get the guy? Did he not get the guy? Was that the guy? Did he work with the guy? I don't remember that guy. That's how I felt watch this movie so when it comes without remorse i'm here without without remorse uh catch it at a barbershop it was this close to go, go, going to uh rubbing my refund but michael b jordan said that for me so it's catch it at a barbershop if it's on barbershop friends house say that that you watch it and you be like hey this is real remorse i'm like all right i'll check it out give me a plate bounce you know it's the type of thing like that all right so post your comments down below how you guys like about without remorse if you guys know i do movie reviews every every single weekend here on nc studios so make sure you subscribe to get the newest movies and and, and retro movies and my rematch movies from my old channel that i put up here as well so make sure you guys check out all that great stuff subscribe for all that great content hit the like button if you guys enjoyed my review and hit the subscribe button for all more great great content right here on nc studios so let's get this nc a place to be chum chum and i'll see you at the movies